Hello everyone, this is CypherDeck, and today I'm playing Malik Dorian Project 1999. I'm here with ZKP99. What's going on YouTube? ZK here. And Chupa. Hey, hello everybody. And we are being helped by a really cool guy, Josiah. And we are in Kedge Keep, which is absolutely crazy. We should not be here. But I'm glad we are. Uh, just because the experience is really, really, really good. Um, we are now at, um, I'm at least 16% into my level 40. And I think both of these guys have gotten at least a level or two. I'm almost, I've, I've almost gained two levels. I'm about to hit my second level after this pull. Yep. I've gained a level and over thirty percent into the next fresh. That's all. That's awesome, man. Yeah. So you and, and the experience modifier here is just fucking crazy. It yeah. really is. And I mean, the fact that we're getting experience here. I mean, these are calling blue. Uh, actually, now some they, green. Now they were they they were calling in red. Yeah. There we go, leveled. Grats. Level 35. Awesome. Yeah, they're, some of these are green to me now, but I uh, still probably wouldn't want to come here uh, without a group. Yeah, as you get farther and farther in, there's definitely, you know, Chupa was checking track, and there was definitely some names up. You don't, you, you for sure don't want to mess with this name room. It's their druids that are rich or the hail. Some of them even gate. They do suck. Oh, yeah. But um, it seems to be going pretty good. I mean, Josiah's holding their own. And, uh, of course, Chupa's topping off heels here and there when needed. It's just nice. I mean, I think I'm getting probably 1% per kill. And that's no matter what the con is. And they're, they're all green to me now. And that's in level 40. Yeah. Yeah, that's just crazy. Yep. Now he's also been call, uh, pulling the cauldrons, um, sharks, as well as the uh, piranhas, and the hammerheads, and um, he, we've even call, uh, pulled one name so far, which was um, cauldron boil. Boil, yeah. And then uh, of course there's also cauldron bubble. Is that it? Yeah. Cauldron, cauldron bubble. bubble. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that spawns in here. And the piercing swordfish as well are considered names. Really? I didn't know that. Yeah, they're considered a name. It's just, um... Yeah, there's one in that group, as a matter of fact. Yep. They have a chance of dropping an item. I can't remember what it was. I think, it's, I think we got one earlier today. Also... Go ahead and link that, that sword that you got from, from Call Trimble so the fans can see that if you want to, Cypher. Yeah, we actually got two items from um, the Gloom Water Harpoon, which is 931. Um, I'll go ahead and link it into the group as well. And then also we got the uh, Shark Jaw Cutlass, which is also 10... 40, uh, 32. So it's a nice item. And just been picking up, um, whatever we can from these. They mostly drop, uh, food or things that can be made into food. They, uh, don't they drop also, any coin, though. Yeah, they also drop, uh, the Lancer Swordfish fin for the Totemic Armor quests as well. Yeah, right. So for all you. All those new shamans, you, you definitely come in, come in here at the later levels. You don't want to come in here at the earlier levels because you'll die. But you definitely, if you're coming in here thinking you can just come in here and solve these, you're wrong, man. You gotta, you gotta sing, you gotta come in here with a group, man. If you're coming in here. Oh yeah. Or if you're, or if you're like Josiah over here, just and be a nice and power level us, you could do that too. Yep. Um. So we should be on the cauldrons now. The um. Sharks as well as the uh, piranha. That item I linked just now is the item I believe for the Titanic armor. 
Yeah. I yeah, so. that's it. That's it. That's the line to Swordfish Finn. I know that Super Bits and Bob tried to come in here on and sold this stuff, and he he died a few times trying to. Yeah, he had a druid helping him out. Yeah. And even then, it was a pain. Yep. It's kind of odd maneuvering in here because um, the fish are on one layer and then you're on another, but you're still able to hit them. Also, you, also when you're coming in here and you're trying to cast a spell, park yourself up against the wall is a helpful tip. So that way you don't, you know, you stay in one place and you can cast a spell. That's also one helpful tip that I learned, a uh, helpful t hint in here that I learned. And it's also, you know, because it, it can be a pain in the, in the butt sometimes to cast a spell underwater. So there you go. Yeah, because you think you're stopping, but you're not. You're still gliding a little bit. I've hit both of them. It gets... Get some heels going on your side here. Yeah, so uh, this is just a small video. Just wanted to show you guys these mobs. It's not something that you'll uh, probably normally come in here and just do. Uh, I know uh, we've already had one paladin that was uh, waiting at the door with us. And they were trying to get in to get their epic um, ground spawn item. Problem is, is yeah. that it it's a piece that you have to get in... Uh, Finney's room, so it's it's not anything that's really easy to get to, but yeah, because and the reason for that is there's four seahorses at Sea and Viz. They're level fifty one. They are clerics and they do nuke and they do complete heals. So if you do fight them, you know, good luck with that. Yeah, they, and they're fast, and they they hit very hard. <laughs> yeah, but they, not to mention Finney. But that's really all we wanted to show you guys today. Thank you guys for watching. Again, uh, we're here with ZK. What's going on, YouTube? ZK uh, here. If you like these videos, definitely hit that like button, comment, subscribe. Uh, and until next time, I'll see you all later. Thank you again. And Chupa. Take care, everybody. Be safe. This is Cypher Deck. Peace out.